Hello, this is the new section, Recurrent Neural Networks. In this section, we will cover Recurrent Neural Networks RNNs and how to implement them in TensorFlow. We will start by demonstrating how to use an RNN to predict spam. We will then introduce a variant of RNNs for creating Shakespeare text. Lastly, we'll train a Siamese similarity measure. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with implementing RNN for spam prediction. In this video, we'll implement a standard RNN in TensorFlow to predict whether or not a text message is spam or ham. To start, we will apply the standard RNN unit to predict a singular numerical output. We will use the SMS spam collection dataset from the ML repository at UCI. As usual, begin by loading the libraries necessary for this script. Next, we start a graph session and set the RNN model parameters. We will run the data through 20 epochs in batch sizes of 250. The maximum length of each text we will consider is 25 words. We will cut longer text to 25 or 0 pad shorter texts. The RNN will be of size 10 units. We will only consider words that appear at least 10 times in our vocabulary and every word will be embedded in a trainable vector of size 50. The dropout rate will be a placeholder that we can set at 0.5 during training time or 1.0 during evaluation. Now we get the SMS text data. First, we check if it was already downloaded and, if so, read in the file. Otherwise, we download the data and save it. To reduce our vocabulary, we will clean the input texts by removing special characters, extra white space, and putting everything in lowercase. Now, we process the texts with a built-in vocabulary processor function from TensorFlow. This will convert a text to an appropriate list of indices. Next, we shuffle the data to randomize the data. We also split the data into an 80-20 train test data set. Next, we declare the graph placeholders. The X input will be a placeholder of size none, max sequence length, which will be the batch size by the maximum allowed word length of the text messages. The Y output placeholder is just an integer, 0 or 1, or ham or spam. We now create our embedding matrix and embedding lookup operation for the X input data. We declare our model in this manner. First, we initialize a type of RNN cell to use, RNN of size 10. Then, we create the RNN sequence by making it a dynamic RNN. We then add dropout to the RNN. Now, to get our predictions, we have to rearrange the RNN and slice off the last output. To finish the RNN prediction, we convert from the RNN size output to the two-category output via a fully connected network layer. We declare our loss function next. Remember that with using the sparse softmax function from TensorFlow, the targets have to be integer indices of type INT, and the logits have to be floats. We also need an accuracy function so that we can compare the algorithm on the test and train set. Next, we create the optimization function and initialize the model variables. Now, we can start looping through our data and training the model. When looping through the data multiple times, it is good practice to shuffle the data every epoch to prevent overtraining. It results in this output. Here is the code to plot the train or test loss in accuracy. We created an RNN to category model to predict if an SMS text is spam or ham. We achieved about 86% accuracy on the test set. Here are the plots of accuracy and loss on both the test and training sets.